going to take you back to the Conservative Party conference now. And today, they're focusing on foreign affairs. At the moment, though, that simply seems to mean the global economy. Just last week, the Foreign Secretary, William Hay, called the euro a burning building with no exits. Is there anything that can protect Britain from the economic problems across the channel? Let's speak to Mr. Hay, because he joins us now. Morning to you, Mr. Hay. Thanks very much for joining us this morning. Good, if we can morning, pick up first, talking about Italy, the third biggest economy in Europe, it's in real crisis. How worried should we be? Well, it's a further illustration of the need to get debts under control. Uh, that, of course, is what we're doing in this country. That's what the coalition government has set about. We inherited huge debts and deficits. Everyone knows we're tackling that. The Prime Minister will talk about the importance of that in his speech today. But it's important other countries do that as well, of course. That is the main contribution they can make to stabilizing the global economy. Uh, and, of course, uh, countries like Italy, Greece, uh, Spain, Portugal, uh, the world looks to them to show that they have their own deficits under control. Mm. But the danger is, if Italy can't pay back his debts, there'll be a domino effect and banks will stop lending. And then there is a paralysis which extends to Britain. Is there any safeguard that we can put in place for that, or is it inevitable? Well, it is important for the countries in the Eurozone to take additional action. The Chancellor has called on them to do that, and he's been meeting other finance ministers from around Europe uh, yesterday to talk further about this. They will need to take additional action uh, to provide confidence in the Eurozone economies uh, to show that we will be able to cope with the situation that you are describing. Uh, and, of course, discussions about what action to take are going on. So it is important to do that. I have indeed said the the, the situation in the euro is like a burning building with no exits. It's important they put out the flames, uh, and that, that will remain important over the next few weeks. Yes, and with this being a, a global economic crisis, we've had uh, America's credit rating downgraded, we've had France's, we've had Italy's. Do we think it's going to extend to Britain as well? Well, I think we've got to be realistic about this. It is a difficult situation in the world economy. But we've also got to have the optimism that the Prime Minister will point to in his speech that we can tackle this, uh, that Britain has the skills to come through this properly, that if we're passionate about improving our education system, we can improve our economy for the long term, mm. that if we repay debts that have got to be repaid, we will be in a much stronger economic position. And so I don't think we should uh, talk ourselves uh, into paralysis. Uh, it's very important for us to retain the optimism about the great things that are happening in the British economy, the businesses that are succeeding in exporting, uh, the small businesses that are expanding, there are half a million additional jobs in the private sector uh, in this country uh, since the general election last year. So there is an upside to what is going on and we have to retain that sense of optimism, I think. Indeed, but the biggest threat to our economy is, of course, the Eurozone crisis. And might this be a time now to re-examine our relationship with the rest of Europe? Should there be fundamental changes to that relationship? Um, well, that's not on the cards at the moment. Uh, I am one who's, uh, who believes that the European Union has too much power uh, over what happens in this country, and there will be moments in the future when we can do things about that. Uh, but no one in Europe at the moment is talking about major changes to the European treaties. Uh, the concentration is, quite rightly, on, on what you are asking about, uh, on the situation in the Eurozone, on stabilizing the financial situation. And the most urgent thing in Europe is to adopt policies that allow all the European economies to grow, uh, to lift burdens on small businesses, uh, to make it easier for businesses to export from one country to another, completing the European single market, to have free trade agreements with the rest of the world so that trade can grow all over the world, between the rest of the world and Europe. These are the real priorities that will mean more jobs and prosperity in this country and our neighbours. And that's the most important thing that we will be pressing on our European partners over the coming year. I suppose inevitably, though, when, when members of the public hear what's going on in the rest of Europe, and we've been reporting from Athens this morning as well as the, the crisis in Italy as well, there's more of an impetus to say, OK, should we now have a referendum on our relationship with the rest of Europe? Is there a way to somehow isolate ourselves from, from what's going on there? Is it time to have that? Boris Johnson, the Mayor of London, would be interested in seeing the results of a referendum. 
Well, that wouldn't isolate, the answer is that wouldn't isolate us in any way, and in fact all the uncertainty of having a referendum about that would probably uh, do further damage to economic confidence. It would not help jobs and businesses in this country. Uh, we have brought in a new Act of Parliament uh, that came in in July that if any government proposes any future treaty that transfers more power from the UK to the European Union, then there must be a referendum of the British people by law. Uh, so that is a very important change in the legislation. Uh, but I think now to question our entire relationship with Europe would not help us or anyone else in this situation. Uh, this is something that we have to work with our neighbours. We're not in the Eurozone, but we, don't want, we, but we do want it to be a stable and healthy uh, Eurozone. And so uh, they have to put out the fire, as I've uh, described it. Uh, Britain, of course, by rectifying our own situation, uh, by repaying debts, by bringing down our own deficit, we are making an important contribution uh, to stabilising the world financial situation. William Haig, Foreign Secretary, thanks very much for joining us this morning. Thank you.